I've had my evening of being sad. But today's a new day, so it's back to feeling happy and handsome on my final days in Napa. We've come out for breakfast this morning. I ordered the steak baguette, but they've given me Martha Scott's beef curtains. Beefy. And this is what Charlie thought about. Which one is his girlfriend, dude? Is it is it this girl or is it the one right before that? Because, like, I've been watching Cory's World for a while and I, I just can't distinguish which one is which. Um, some people have gotten mad at me because I said that his mom looked like his girlfriend or I thought his mom was his girlfriend. I don't know what it is in the UK. I don't know why everybody looks so extraordinarily older than they all are. I, I know it doesn't apply to everybody, but for some reason, dude, this girl... <laughs> This girl right here, bro. What is up? What's going on? What happened, dude? What happened, okay? I don't know how old this woman is. It, 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 either 30 or 50. I, I have no idea, okay? But either way, it's fine to go out and eat whenever you want to. I don't have a problem with people going out to eat. It's fine. The only thing I would say is make sure you're doing it infrequently because the amount of times I see this guy, Corey's World, eating out, right? He eats out every day day and he doesn't even need an excuse man that overline is serious dude <laughs> that overline is serious dude those lashes ain't it bro that's crazy man look as long as you're eating out infrequently and you're making up for the calories that you're eating out it's fine i don't have a problem with it matter of fact i know some people will say like the downward effect of eating really really bad food could be like heart attacks or like high blood pressure and things like that i get it but like let's be honest here for a second most people are not worried about that and then also um, you're, re you're ridiculously reducing the chances of having any of that stuff happen to you if you're thin. So if you're going to like Starbucks and you're getting a couple, like a thousand calorie drink, I don't recommend it. But if you're burning it, it's fine. I know damn right. Corey is not doing that. And Corey doesn't even need an excuse to eat out. He literally eats out every chance he gets. I literally see every single video of his. He's just eating out. He always finds a reason to, and I guess he's going on vacation and he's using that as also an excuse to eat out, which again, you don't need an excuse to eat out. Just go. <laughs> just you're gonna eat out regardless um by the way a burger with a black bun what are we thinking on that it's in beefy that uh dude I'm, i don't know what type of salad this is maybe this is just like you put it into your food but these onions need to be diced up a little bit harder than this dude these things are way too like basically whole onions this is what charlie thought about that true excuse dude, that, that orange the orange on the hands did you guys see that Hold on. And this is what Charlie thought about that. It's the tanning, right? That's what people tell me. It's tanning. There's a lot of tanning going on in the UK. I guess you guys don't have sunshine. So you got to like artificially throw it on the on the hands. Excuse me. Charlie oh. went for Moussa. Damn, bro. Why does it look so black on the inside? What's going on in this? Leo went for a burger. We've come to the beach for a few hours. This beach is right by the Nelia. And they've got stunning beach bars as well. I had a lemonade and an ice cream. Dude, he's, is he just, like, chilling with two girls? Who are these two women? Somebody please let me know down below. If you know who this Corey girl is. As well. I had a lemonade. And I who is this? And who is this? Are they both his girlfriend? Which one's his mom? Is this his mom? Or is this his mom? Which one is his mom and which one is his girlfriend? I don't know. I don't I know. Squat. I thought he was gay. I thought for a long time Corey was gay. That's not even me being offensive either. I just thought he was gay. He seemed really flamboyant for a man. Offy is so windy in Cyprus, so the beach was completely empty. Leah was he's, the he's also pretty well dressed. Like he's always extraordinarily groomed, especially for a guy that eats as much as he does. The only one in the sea. For fishy Leah. Tonight we've come to Nikita's steak restaurant with party hard for the final leave in me. Damn, dude. Uh, actually, the prices are not too bad. Oh, no, these are starters. Damn, actually, the prices are terrible here, dude. Starters are like the average price is like four to six dollars. As much as I'm gonna miss everyone, my liver definitely needs a rest because these lot definitely put the hard in party Oof. hard. I went for steak and chip. Damn, there's like nothing in that though. That steak is so small. Definitely needs a rest because these lot definitely put the. For how much though? What is this chocolate goo? Hard in party hard. I went for steak and chips. I know this is criminal, but I like my steak well done with peppercorn sauce. And this it's okay. was okay. I don't. I don't mind when people. Dude, he is so well groomed all the time dude i'll give him so much credit for his outrageously amazing hairline his great skincare i mean his skin is so incredibly clear dude i don't know how your skin can be that clear eating like garbage so consistently but it's very clear and uh his style is also pretty nice too and no more beef curtains after dinner we went to pambo doesn't beef curtains just kind of sound like vagina am i wrong isn't that a euthanism for vagina when a girl goes like you know you want my beef curtains don't you think it's like because, like, sometimes girls refer to their vaginas as, like, roast beef, right? Because it kind of looks like roast beef sometimes. 
And I can see that somebody might refer to their vagina also as beef curtains because it is kind of like curtains, right? Depending on, I don't know, somebody let me know. Off for some games and drinks. It was such a laugh. And if you want to book with Party Hard for your next holiday, use this code for many off. We finished off the night in an I ice, cream the ice cream parlor. I went for a Twix ice cream and this was uh dude Corey just eats way too much way too frequently dude and what what i've seen from him is that he'll go on these like benders of eating ridiculous amounts of calories and he always preference it with oh my god i went out to eat last night and it was insane i literally spent the entire night drinking nothing but alcohol and it was insane so today in order to alleviate that I'm, I must dilute myself with calories and eating a Mackey's and going out and getting a ice cream. Like, that's what I see from him consistently. Like, he'll find a reason to eat food. And usually it consists of drinking lots of alcohol. Like, he just did at the very beginning of the video by saying, like, he needs to give his, his liver a... I don't know exactly how he's... He's literally abusing his body day in, day out. And uh, I guess, like, alleviating that with even more abuse. It was so succulent. Yo, that's kind of a crazy ass word. Finished off the night in an ice cream parlor. I went for a Twix ice cream and this was so succulent. Even the girls couldn't keep their filthy lips off it. Tomorrow's Yo. our last full day. So we're gonna have an early night. Bro, who are these women? Are these not his parents, dude? Like, who are these women? Love you soul. It's the final day of- Dude, she didn't even get anything. Lips off it. This girl Tomorrow's got our some. Last full day. So we're gonna this have girl an early literally- night. Love you soul. It's nothing. There was- <laughs> The lip filler must have got like, took away. day on holiday. So today we're spending it in my mum's apartment. Oh, is that your mom? I love you all. It's the final day on holiday. Cons okay, so if that was his mom, who are these two ladies, bro? Who are these two ladies that are with him? Is he just... Are they both his girlfriend? <laughs> Hold up. Are one of them is his sisters? Like, what? what is going on right so now? So today we're spending... That's his mom. What? Dude, is this your mom? Dude, your mom be looking better than... <laughs> Okay, hold up, bro. Let me stop. In my mum's apartment, eating shit loads of food and soaking up the sun. For breakfast, we've come to the... You gotta soak up the sun because I guess in the UK, you guys don't have that. And it's very... If you do have it, it's like very few and far between all the clouds and disgusting night violence and people telling you that they gotta get a Mackey's and a curry and it's so good. Oh my God, I gotta get a Donna meat. That's what I hear a lot. That's like the... Num like if I was to narrow it down, I hear Donner meat. I hear a Mackey's and I hear an Indian or a curry. Pub. I couldn't decide on a kebab or a lasagna, so I had both for breakfast. This kebab was stunning and this lasagna was so That's succulent. a lasagna? This is my idea of a very nice day out. Leah went for a mixed kebab and Charlie Damn. went for a shearing plant. Damn, bro. That's a lot of fucking food, dude. Just for you? Damn, got a couple of sodas too. 7-Up and Coca-Cola. All this just for you, bro? Living the life, man. See, you know... I wouldn't have a problem with this if this was just a one-time thing. Like, you're going on holiday, literally, and you don't usually eat stuff like this. So, because you don't usually eat stuff like this, you're going to find the time to indulge a little bit because you're on vacation, right? But let's be honest. Corey eats like this all the time. I Like, go through his videos. I would say 90% of them have to involve him body slamming. And sometimes they start out nice. Sometimes he goes like, oh... I'm going to make some home-cooked meals, but by the end, he's eating Snickers bars, he's going to Mackey's, he's going to, maybe he's going to Nando's, he's going to a whole bunch of places. How stunning. If you don't know about Yo. Jumbo, you need to get to know. It's the best shop in Cyprus. This is my mum's pool. We've just chilled here all. Yo, why does he say it like that? Pool. 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 And it's so nice to spend some time with my family. We went to a Cyprus supermarket. I love foreign supermarkets. They're just unmatched. Look at all the goodies they kinder chocolate dude you don't need these bro why are you buying this shit bro you're already going out of your how much money do you think it costs for these dudes to eat on a daily basis like that meal alone had to have been like 50 bucks right like the meal where he was just out getting that kebab or whatever that was with the lasagna lasagna that had to have been at least fifty dollars. They got you. How stunning! This evening we're going to a hidden gem in Cyprus. It's a really quiet beach right next to Larnaca Airport. It's so bougie, and you have planes flying over your head every ten minutes. That's this is that's an abomination, dude. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Is this a cheeseburger? If this is a cheeseburger and you're getting the cheese on top, that is absolutely stupid. That is like. If you were getting like a cup of coffee and you wanted caramel in it and they put the caramel on the outside of the cheeseburger, I'm sorry, the outside of the coffee, that's what it is. What are you going to do? Uh, uh, lick the side of the cup? No, you're not going to do that shit. This is the most dumb shit I've seen in my life. I've seen this trend a lot where people put like 
pasta inside of a cup, like a, a serving glass, and they like open it up and it's like cool or something like that. I don't care. It's pasta. But people think it's so cool when you take off the cup and your pasta falls out. Same thing here. I don't care. You know, this is... If you told me that the cheese on the burger comes on top of the burger, you know what I'm telling you? Nah. Can you just put it into the burger? I don't want it on top. Like, when I grab the cheeseburger, I don't want it to be messy. The entire point of a bun is to have a barrier in between your hands and the meat that you're eating. That's the entire fucking point. So when you put cheese on top, it ruins it. It literally is it defeats the entire purpose. Am I wrong? is the burger i went for now that's cheese heaven it's probably a risky move to have just before a flight it's, it's it, because it's gonna be all over your fucking hands i'm gonna, I'm gonna need to see you eat that yes i'm not supposed to eat with a glove with a glove with a glove you're gonna eat this shit with a glove all right bro i mean look dude i'm gonna give you the buck if you're going out to eat and they give you surgical gloves before you eat that shit i'm walking out i don't need it <laughs> Why? Why would I ever need that? Why are you giving me these surgical gloves, dude? What am I fucking Dexter? What I'm gonna like chop into somebody? I don't want the gloves. I just don't, dude. I, it, this is. I just think that if you if you need extra equipment for eating a burger, it's just not it. That's that you did it wrong. You did it wrong. I'm gonna keep it a buck. There are very few ways to fuck up a cheeseburger. Very few ways. It's literally almost impossible to fuck up a cheeseburger, and then you manage to do it. You not only did you manage to fuck up the cheeseburger, but you made it worse. You made the burger worse fundamentally. And you think it's cool because the burger is wrapped in cheese. It's not. It's not. It's really not. Jeez, but I'm willing to risk it all. And, it's gonna be, and that's just going to be all over his face, bro. Guarantee. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> that's tough, bro. That's tough, man. You're going to need to take a shower after this. That's insane, bro. That is absolutely disrespectful. My hand luggage bag, just in case I shit myself. We've had the best holiday ever, but I can't wait to get home and chill out before Japan. We're going in six days. You're gonna go to Japan too? 12.30, so that means- He look kinda dope, he look kinda chill out a little bit. Japan. We're going in six days. It's 12. He kinda look a little bit like he been babysitting some fly, some bees or something, bro. He kinda look a little bit inflated. He looks like he's allergic to something. 30, so that means one thing. We're off to Japan. We've got a two and a half hour journey to the airport. The service station is dead. Greg's is crazy, bro. That doesn't even sound like it should be an establishment. Greg's? That'd be like somebody like naming their establishment like, oh, yes, is uh. Well, Tony kind of makes a little bit of sense because you associate that with pizza. But if what would be like a really like, oh, yeah, Cletus's? Cletus's, like, come on over to Cletus's. What are you guys serving? I don't know, like, pig, pig's feet or something. Greg's is empty with no staff members. The temptation yeah. to steal all the if, the... if that's the case, bro, if you walk into an establishment and there's nothing... You know what's really got me fucked up, dude? I walked into a Dunkin' Donuts today, right? And I got a coffee, a medium coffee, and I got a hot chocolate for somebody. And the, the hot chocolate, the lady was like, she announced it. She said, listen, uh, whoever ordered the hot chocolate, we don't have it. And then I was like, oh, yeah, I ordered the hot chocolate. Can I get a refund? And then she looked at me. She's like, oh, you want a refund? And I'm just looking like, yeah. Uh, why Why would you think I didn't want it? Why is that far? Why is that a crazy idea that I don't want a refund? I'm literally like, I literally purchased it and you don't have it, which means that I should get my money back because I bought something that doesn't exist in the establishment that you have listed on the that doesn't make sense. Yes, I would like my money back. Apps of, yeah, 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 of course. And then they were like, oh, you don't want to like get anything on the menu? No, that, no, no, I just need the money back. And they gave me my money back in, in cash, which is really weird because I pay with my card, but I guess it really doesn't matter. But it was like really weird. It's like, what are you doing? All beef pasties was really high, but I don't want to get arrested to miss my Basically like a luxury hot pocket. That's what that is. what this is. So I went to Costa instead and bought this bogging ass breakfast wrap. It was so moist. Find... Yo, bro, this guy just using words that should not be used, bro. Nearly arrived at Heathrow Airport. I've never been here before and it's massive. We've got a four. 14 hour flight ahead of us 14. and we're absolutely exhausted we've come to gordon ramsay's for breakfast me and leah both went for an eggs benny i've never had this before either it was a spenny benny look at this egg pop that looks so succulent mm. the breakfast was 11.75 each 11.75 for the breakfast let me think about that i think that's probably okay 
I think that's probably that's actually pretty cheap. USD? Six pound seventy five for a bottle of water, and they already added a fifteen percent tip on the bill. Gordon must think we're right idiot sandwiches. Look how busy it is in Heathrow. All these people look like ants, and they even have a Harrods in here. I can't wait to get on the plane, have some plain food, and hopefully sleep the whole journey. The longest flight we've ever been on is five hours to Cyprus. So Sixteen this is hours is shock. crazy. But we've got our very own TV, and they've even got Scooby Doo the movie. Now that's my idea of a Damn. very nice day out. I Gotta find any reason to eat bad food. Let's be honest here for a second, dude. I'm, I'm happy Corey's like traveling the world doing what he wants to do, but I just hope he makes better dietary decisions over in Japan. While they brought the food, so I missed out on dinner, but thank God Leah got me these snacks. We opened and read our letter from Charlie, aka Martha Scott. We miss her already. We had a few more snacks, and it's finally breakfast time. We had Damn. two options vegan breakfast or meaty breakfast. It's yeah, gotta be a meaty order. Yeah, you gotta go for the meaty breakfast. That's crazy. That's even an option, bro. Give me the meat all in my mouth. That was for me. That looks actually terrible, though. Dude, whatever that is on the left. Breakfast or meaty breakfast. Dude, whatever this right here on the left is, dude, that looks like something you would eat off Fear Factor. This looks gross. I don't know what this is. It doesn't look good. The eggs look okay. The sausage looks all right. Beans. I don't know why so many people from the UK are so comfortable eating sausage and beans and eggs all together. Personally speaking, cannot do it. The fruit looks good, though. your shower for me. The sausages were mid. The eggs and beans were stunning. Leah had my mushrooms and tomatoes. Side eye. Our flight's almost over. But I'll see you on the other end. Let me show. I eat in a day. Today we're going to Tokyo. So it's only right we're going to have three takeaways. Charlie. Damn, three takeaways in Tokyo, bro. Damn, they do. That's a luxury Subway sandwich, bro. Bro, look at the box. The part, the presentation is actually incredible. Let's come over to spend the final. Wow, dude. Stay with us for breakfast. We've ordered a subway. I got a okay. foot long. Six inches is never enough. Hold got up. A steak and cheese, hearty Italian with onions, mayo, and sweet onion sauce. Doritos. I mean, when you, <laughs> the cookie's probably like six hundred calories. But when you are getting a sandwich, you gotta have it with chips. I don't care what anybody says, dude. If you are going. And you're making a sandwich or getting a sandwich chips on the side or chips in the sandwich is a necessity so I, i'm not gonna i'm not, i can't really i can't really blame him for that but he should probably be trying to eat better given the fact that he's in tokyo which is like never in my life have i ever heard somebody go i'm gonna go to tokyo and get subway that's crazy bro i mean out of all the foods that you can get there I, I would have never thought somebody would get Tokyo, bro. Get get just get subway in Tokyo. That'd be like going to I don't even know. That'd be like going to Spain and be like, yeah, dude. Oh man, it was a great trip. I got all the traditional foods. McDonald's. Like, what are you doing, man? Why would you McDonald's? Subway? Like you there, there there are other there are other places you can get food, right? Traditional to uh the toku, whatever you want to call it, dude. Um Tokyo foods. I don't know what they are. I guess like shrimps and stuff i don't know and a rainbow cookie we've just dropped the dog to leah's mum and dad's we're just packing the last of our case so it's time for another takeaway uh, damn bro she pulled up that uber eats quick we've ordered a kfc i have no idea what to order damn i didn't kfc in tokyo that's actually surprising dude this actually looks better than anything here in the States. That's crazy. Here comes the KFC. The menu's far too complicated for my little brain. I got a chicken burger with a hash brown, chicken and chips. I'll give I'll give the Japanese people, bro. This this these, these presentations are you would think that the place in which the food originates, we would have the most superior version of it. But I always see it when like people go to other countries and they get the foods there. I'm always like so surprised because it looks so much better. It's almost kind of like they know that we'll accept the lower quality versions. But other places are like, no, nah, we won't accept lower quality versions. So they have to make them better. But it's so jarring because I know I've eaten at KFC before and I've never seen a box this 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 good before. Popcorn, chicken, and gravy. Charlie was trying to be healthy, so she got a Okay, this actually doesn't look that good. Rice box and ah, that looks all right. Leah got a mighty bucket for one, and that's not the only bucket she's got. We've yo, said our final Yo, bro, calm down. Device. We've packed the cases in the car, and two hours before we're about to leave, Leah double checks the confirmation, and we've only got the wrong bloody date. Not flying until tomorrow. Uh, you know you gotta get the McDonald's, bro. Oh, oh, I thought this was the guy. I thought this was the dude. I was about to be like, damn, dude. He got his fucking feet fucking painted too. So in your day, hold up, bro. Let me get this straight. Hold up. So in, in your entire day, you got Subway, KFC, and McDonald's on the last day in Tokyo, huh? I mean, if you told me you was in America, if you had told me that you were somewhere in America and you got this diet, I'd be like, yeah. 
That makes total sense. Now, if you told me you was in Tokyo, I'd be like, bro, that's a lie. There's no way you're going to go to Tokyo and double down on this slop-ass American specialities. But, hey, man, maybe it looks good. Let's bro, see. Right. So we picked Charlie back Drinks in the bag. I don't know why some people are okay with drinks in the bag. I'm not okay with drinks in the bag. The only place Triple cheese. Was a fish filet. I went for a fillet of fish. 20 piece. Damn, just for you, bro? That's a stack right here. The 20 piece alone is a stack. The triple cheese probably around 700 probably. I think a regular double cheese around 450 to about 500. So I wouldn't be surprised if it was about 700 calories. And he got, wait, can I go back real quick? The fries two on the side. That's a large Give it a thousand. That's a thousand, right? Isn't a large fry a thousand calories? The final sleepover, and the only place open to order from was a mac. Oh, the fish fillet. I forgot about the fish fillet. That's probably a, like five hundred. I went for a fillet of fish, cheeseburger, and chicken nugs. Yeah, bro, that dude literally just and the fries on the side too. Damn, he probably just ate three. Let me get that hold up. Yeah, that's about three thousand calories right there. Twenty-five to three thousand calories off that alone. God damn. That's so much. I've come fish, cheeseburger and chicken nugs. Since I've come back from Napa, all I've been craving is a cheese and onion roll. So my mum's gone to Tesco, bought a French stick and some cheese and onion spread. Thank you, mum. You're a legend. The whole time I was in Napa, all I was... Greg's does not sound like it should be a restaurant. It just sounds... It sounds like such a basic name. It, it, it doesn't have any, like, theme to it. It's just Greg's. Just planned Greg's. Craven was a corned beef pasty. So I had three for lunch. Ten three corned beef pasties. Can somebody let me know if you're from the UK and you had experience from eating this particular place, is it like normal to eat at these like different types of fast food places? I'm guessing this is a fast food place because here in America, we don't have places like this. Like I guess we have like bo bodegas, which are on the corners of uh, streets where I guess there's like a Puerto Rican guy behind a counter. He'll make you a beef patty or something like that. But most of the time, the beef patties he's going to give you are like there for like four or five days already. So you're not realistically eating anything of substance. You're just eating probably something that's going to body slam your stomach like three hours later. But I see a lot of people in the UK have a lot of options when it comes to just getting fast food conveniently too. So let me know. Because here in America, we realistically only have like McDonald's and all the basic fast food places. So the whole time I was in Napa, all I was craving was a corned beef pasta. Relatively cheap too, I guess. Well, is it a steak one, a corned beef one? I guess like two pounds. I don't know what that is in like America. So like USD. I have no idea. Maybe like a dollar fifty or are you guys have, are, is your currency more expensive than ours or no? I don't know. So I had three for lunch, 10 out of 10. Tonight for tea, we're seeing Charlie and Fee. We're off for a chippy tea. We've come to plat. Dude, he has so many women friends, dude. Tonight for tea, we're it's seeing always, Charlie and Fee. We're off it's for a always chip. a red flag when you see, oh, I thought this girl and this girl were like the same girl for a while, dude. All Crocs, by the way, Crocs and Crocs. And at least this girl's wearing some Converse or whatever. Too many, too many people nowadays wear Crocs. It's way too convenient. I thought it was just something that happened here in the United States, but I guess it's happening over there in the UK too. I see, when I was in high school, there was a guy that I knew. I knew a bunch of guys that were secretly gay that would not tell us that they were gay. And they would lie and they would say things like, nah, dog, I love vagina. Vagina all day. It's my favorite. I, I just do it all the time. And they would hang around like all women. Like they had no friends that were guys. And it was always a little bit suspect. And then later on in their lives, they would come out as gay. And I was like, I knew it. Like, I knew you were gay, bro. You literally, you know, you walked with a switch and your lips was always the plumpest. And you had weird piercings in places I didn't even know you could have piercings. So I, I always knew that they were gay. But when I see dudes that have a lot of women friends, I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong about it. But I feel like it might be a calling card for some homosexuality. Now, I don't have a problem. If Corey is gay a little bit, uh, I don't, it's no, it's no issue at all, but it probably would be something that would tell your girlfriend. I think this is, this is his girlfriend right here, dude. I'm sorry, but this UK fashion is just not good, bro. Why do you guys all like, what? I don't know how old this woman is. And I don't know how old this woman is, dude. It's just, it's just too much. Like, this woman looks like she's 40, and this woman looks like she's 40, but they can also be 20. I don't know. We've come to Plassey Street in Penarth. Fish and chips. Fish and chips sounds absolutely disgusting, by the way, dude. I, I, I don't know how so many people in the UK can eat that shit. Why is, like, 90% of the stuff in the UK also all brown? Duck my tits. Damn. And that's on period. I went for chips, fish, and curry. Yo, I'm sorry, dude. That's crazy. Tits, suck my the way tits. the way he just held up the fish was serious. And that's on period. I went for chips, fish. 
Like, that's serious, dude. Just holding it up like that is crazy. And curry sauce. Like, and it's a, a big diet pad. For health. Leo went for cheesy chips and gravy. Fionn went for a jumbo gravy. sausage and batter. And Charlie had everything on the menu. She had saveloy, fish bites, fish cake, and cheesy chips and gravy. Look at Leah's cheese pull. Damn, dude. They just kind of threw that shit sloppily together. Eating it on the side of the road, too. No chair, anything at all. Just eating it on the side there. That's crazy. Grab your coat, you've cheese pulled, darling. House. I don't know why we, we, we're we so obsessed right now in our society with cheese pulls. And they're not really that impressive. Like, I get it. You're eating something with cheese. But, like, why does everything you eat have to have a cheese pull? What, isn't it just okay to be eating something with just regular cheese? Not everything needs to be pulled. Stunning is that. What's your go-to item from a chippy? This is Charlie bro. counting her food to make sure they haven't missed anything. I could see why she got everything on the menu, bro. I, could, I, could, I already know. All ripped her off. She wants extra chips. We've brought Baby Bell along with us. How you order the entire menu and then you're upset that they didn't give you enough chips, dude? That's crazy. Because after food, we're going to the beach for a nice walk. How stunning that is does pretty the sky nice, look yeah. tonight? That's what I call a euphemism. Love is all. We're back from holiday, and as much as I'd love to lay in bed all day and let myself recover, we've got fun. I've never seen that, dude. What is that? Soft cheese? He's dipping Doritos in cheese? I mean, I've seen worse. This is not the worst, but it's also not something I would recommend doing. Thicker, cr thicker and crunchier. Sour cream and onion. Doritos, dude? I've never seen sour cream and onion Doritos. Back from holiday, and as much as I'd love to lay in bed all day and let myself... Let me know if I'm sleeping on this, dude. If you guys have been eating cheese dip and reg and sour cream and onion Doritos, dude, is this is this actually good, or is this guy just weird? Cover. We've got far too much to do. We're going Damn, to Japan bro. in five days. Kit Kats. I, I don't know what's up with people in the UK eating Kit Kats. Here in America, people do not eat Kit Kats. Kit Kats are the most... If the only time you've ever seen somebody eat Kit Kats in America is when you are the child itself or you know somebody that is a child and they've con they've devoured all the Halloween, Halloween candy and at the very end of the bag, there's like 20 odd Kit Kats that the kid themselves did not want to eat and you decide that you were going to eat them because nobody else is going to eat them. It's like the Fritos of the candy organization if you know what i'm talking about it, it, nobody eats those here in america uh it's just not it's just not something we do but in the uk i see a lot of people eating much it to do we're going to japan in five yeah I've, I've never even heard of penguins either what is a penguin i, I, I don't know about that dude Five days, so we need to pick up some bits. He, damn, he didn't even eat it cool either. He, he literally just bit into that shit. I got shit. some ads to film, and we obviously need to pack. This is top tier girlfriend goals. Look what Leah's brought me home. Corned beef pasty. Now, if that's not true love, I don't know what is. Although I've been rushing around today, I've certainly made some time to eat. I haven't stopped shoving food down my gob today. I always give KFC the benefit of the doubt. I'm sure it's just... When it comes to Corey's world, I'm just like so surprised because... Okay, being a dude, and I think Corey is like a little bit taller, given the fact that when I see him standing next to other people, he tends to be a little bit taller than most people. So I'll give him that he's probably a little taller and he's a man. So most dudes can eat a little bit more than most women, right? And if you're a smaller woman, you probably can't eat that much because if you're like five foot three, I've talked to many women that are like that size that can only realistically eat about 1500 calories or less. So when it comes to like somebody like Corey's world, I mean, granted, he's eating a lot of calories in a day. I wouldn't be surprised if he's stuffing down his mouth like three to 5,000 calories every single day, every day, like weeks on end. And he's bigger. He's a bigger guy. He has more to fill. But I just, he's not doing anything to burn these calories. Like, his entire day is either driving to the establishment or staying home, cooking terrible, disgusting foods while eating Kit Kats and then having Uber Eats on the delivery line. It's like, I'm not seeing him burning it off. So, I don't know how he's managing. He is usually wearing clothes that are pretty pretty baggy so i don't know if he's hiding like a couple hundred extra pounds underneath this layers of layers of clothes or if he's just naturally not the type of guy to gain that kind of weight i just don't know how he's managing to put on all this this calories he's useless calories by the way not doing anything for him and staying thinner so it's an anomaly um but definitely his girlfriend and the other girl that blonde haired girl with the lip injections um they're not they're not they're definitely suffering uh they're definitely eating i think around the same amount as him and they're they're pretty big barry kfc hashtag chewy after my kfc i had another Damn. two pasties so yes i've had three pasties today big whoop
I know most people feel pressure to lose weight and eat healthy before their holiday. But if you're watching this now and you've got a holiday book soon, this is your sign not to worry. True. If, you've got stretch if you're about to go on holiday, it doesn't matter, dude. This is what I'm saying. Like when it comes to Corey's world, he eats this shit regardless of whether where he is. He'll eat it when he's in when he's out on holiday, when he's going on vacation, he'll eat it then, or he'll eat it right before. He doesn't care. His, his entire catalog of videos is just relentless eating consistently over and over and over and over and over again, which, like I said, it's not a big deal if you have fine time to, like, burn off those calories and, to, you know, not doing it as frequently compared to all the other times that you're eating um, and trying to mitigate it as much as possible. But for Corey, it doesn't seem like he has an off button. He just consistently eats over and over and over again every day. Schmarks and a big tummy. Awesome sad. And the french fries too, dude. I don't know what it is about UK lore in the french fries. You guys eat french fries more than I've seen anybody in, in the world, dude. And this is coming from like an American. Like we love french fries, but we don't just eat french fries. We have them always. It's only ever off the side of something. You, you're never going to see somebody going out of their way just buying french fries. But over there in the UK, I see you guys like, that would just be your main dish is just french fries, which is crazy. It's always a side here in America. I don't know what's up with the lore there in, in the UK. It must be something with the sun. I don't like know. Sally, it just means you're enjoying your life and there's nothing to be ashamed of. That's what a normal body looks like. Yeah, I don't know about that, dude. If you're 250 and you're talking about so this is my normal body, this is what a normal body looks like. You, maybe for like you, maybe when you look at those funhouse mirrors, maybe that's what a normal body looks like. But if, if your body is perpetually looking like a funhouse mirror, then it, it probably not, you know, probably maybe take some steps to alleviate the diet. So that way you're not just eating out 90% of your day. I mean, it's got to get exhausting, right? I don't know how much money this guy has to be spending like the way that he does. He eats out like literally every single day. And he also eats out in between those times too, where he, he's getting corned beef pasties and i'm getting a nando's and you know i had to stop by and get a mackey's really quickly so he's eating out in between the eating out so and each meal's got to be 20 30 bucks minimum and then top it off he's eating in between that i don't know how much money this guy has to be spending i don't know if he's like taking out debt in order to like fulfill these uh these fast food desires but i see him eating out too much like, so just enjoy your holiday because you deserve to be there for tea we've ordered a take bro man that's insane, bro. It kind of looked like the chef did a little something extra on this, dude. What are you eating? Why is this so wet? Is this cheese? This kind of looks like, you You know when you have toaster strudels and you have the icing that you could put on the top, but if it's like really, really hot and then you put the icing on, it kind of melts a little bit and it kind of goes a little bit clear. It looks like semen. This looks like semen. This looks like the chef nutted all over this dude's french fries. Am I wrong? Can somebody let me know down in the comments? Kway, I went for a doner kebab wrap and chips. Leo went for a doner kebab. It took me so long to even understand what a doner kebab was, dude. Because, like, I didn't know it was a gyro. I know what a gyro is. Like, stacks of meat that you just cut off through the side. And you just, like, I get that. But I didn't know. And I, 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 we don't have that here. Like, we don't, we don't have guys in shops making gyros all day. I don't know. Like, maybe... You might find one, but you have to find, you have to go out of your way to try to find those guys. The cheesy chips. And by the way, the problem with cheese like this is it does, t it does tend to clump together. And this is not a cheese pole, dude. This is just a clump of cheese next to your fries. I thought this was just nut fries, but I guess it's cheesy fries, which is better than nut fries. I'll give you that. But it's also not good either because it looks like the cheese is already fermented permanently upon the fries. I don't know how these people have any type of bowel movements of consistency, dude. These dudes gotta be busting it down once a month, dude, like sloths or something like that, where they're like holding on to trees, praying to God while they're, while they like, then, then after they're done, they're calling up their plumber who's on, like, hey bro, let me get the regular. Cause the dude's probably outside anyway. Like these dudes are probably, but when they do bust it down, the toilet's gotta be done in the evening catching up on EastEnders Paul Ulandi she's such a brave woman EastLanders BBC hope you've all had a nice day love is all why love you too. In the day if there's one thing to put a smile on my face it's a food for thought for breakfast damn Leah's gone to get her lashes done and she's come back with some corn why when you <sighs> look I understand that everybody wants to get lashes done nowadays and you want big thick giant air you know like what I call them spider leggies right because they're so thick and they look they look like spider legs right I understand it, but how much do they cost? How much do they cost to get your to get your lashes done and consistently as well? Like you're getting them done every week? Why? Do they fall off? 
when the rain hits them, what are they used for? Sometimes they're a little bit too long. And do, does that not bother you? Because sometimes my lashes are really long and I'll wake up and I'll have them just like, like, I'll just see it the whole day where it's like coming, kind of coming down. I have to like move it out of my, my eye or do something to try to like alleviate myself. I couldn't even imagine having them in front of my face all day. Does that not bother you? Is it just like a woman thing where you just like tolerate the fact that you have hair in front of your face or the makeup that's making your face uncomfortable? Is that, is that what it is? Cause I feel like I just, I wouldn't be able to tolerate that. Beef pasties and a chicken tikka baguette for me. Which... And also I just think that when you're getting your, Maybe you're doing it because you want to feel pretty, but sometimes I look upon people that are just really unfortunately shaped, and I think, why do you care so much about what you look like when it comes to these, like, really weird, like, getting your lashes done, getting your nails done, getting your makeup done, and I'm looking at the whole package, and I'm going, like, you're, like, a 4, and this is, like, making you maybe a 4.5. I'm not saying that this woman is a 4.5 or being hired up because of the makeup, but... I don't know, like, what are the priorities? Wouldn't it be better to prioritize weight loss or, like, prioritize the the overall package? This is, like, it's, like, wrapping, it's, like, going to a car wrapping place and, like, putting a gold wrap on your car, like, pure gold on your car, but it's a piece of shit. Like, the doors are missing, that you can't roll up the door anymore, you get the check engine light, the catalyst converter was stolen by a couple Mexican dudes the night before. It's, it, it's just a piece of shit car. Like, the car is busted, but... If you then, you know, upgraded the car, maybe you put in a better engine, you got the exhaust fixed, you got the, you know, you can actually roll up the window, the check engine light doesn't happen anymore, and then you wrap the car, then I would actually have, I would be totally fine with it. And even if it was the other way around, like, if you had a very, very nice Lamborghini, and you just wrapped it in like a shit, like a terrible, disgusting color, that would be way better, because at least the car underneath the color looks good. It's good. It's a good overall car. You know what I'm saying? That's the way I like to look at it. Cheese, onion, mayo, and mint. Look at this concoction. Couldn't you just make this at your house? Like, how many times have I seen this guy just buying food that just doesn't need to be bought? You could just make this stuff at your house. Yeah, I'm off to Cardiff to pick up a few bits for Japan. And then we're going to Pontypris for Leah's brother's birthday. You might, you might as well just eat the wrap on the side too, right? Like the wrapper. Man, dude. Ooh. Cute. This is the gang from Boo. Whoa, bro. Hottest, hottest person in the room right here, dude. Look at that. Amanda's Killing it. such a babe. We finally arrived in the valleys, a place of myth and legend where the dragon sleeps and life is beautiful. After Damn. the barbecue, we bumped into this stalker. Who is this woman, dude? And why do you keep bumping into her? This this is your friend? Is this is this your girlfriend? Is this your extra girlfriend? Who is this woman? I, I need to know the lore. And why is the seatbelt? Oh no, this is the dog. Okay. When I tell you this girl is Martha Scott, I mean that uh, I'm gonna have Damn. to turn my location off. No! Damn. Okay. All right. I was expecting a pizza. I guess this is a pizza? Man, I, I don't know about that, dude. You're missing like a quarter of the box, dude. She follows us everywhere. And if we're not home for whatever reason, she sits on our drive and films our house. Dude, you guys get this shit way too fucking often, dude. Just cheesy fries. Is this literally like, why do I see you guys eating this shit so fucking often, dude? Fries and cheese. Is this really like the main dish you guys have over there? I get the fish and chips. That's like a part of your culture. I get the like eggs and beans. I understand that. I don't understand cheese and French fries. I just don't get that one. That one doesn't make sense to me. It makes me feel like I'm with you all the time. Oh, we love it, really. We had some more drinks. It's not even that good, dude. It's it's really not that good. And... Cheeky takeaway. And we finished off the night in bed eating this popcorn and catching up on EastEnders. Yeah. Happy Tuesday, you sexy sods. Love yous all. All right, guys, that's the end of the video. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. If you did, I'd appreciate if everybody can leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video, all that stuff I'd appreciate tremendously. So if you could do any of that stuff for me, I would appreciate you tremendously. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in sugar because I still have the sugar packets from uh, Dunkin' Donuts on my desk. And they're useful because sometimes you might need sugar for whatever you're doing. Like maybe you have a coffee in it and you need a little bit of extra spice to it. So you can lubricate that with the 
the, the sugar. So uh, you could do that. But thank you, everybody, for watching the video in its entirety. Um, by the way, before we close out the video, I have to let everybody know that they are beautiful, amazing, spectacular. The person watching this right now, thank you for watching the video in its entirety. Or if you didn't watch it in its entirety and you just like teleported here magically, um, that's beautiful. Thank you so much for doing that miraculous thing. You're an amazing person. You smell really good today. You are really good today. Thank you for watching the video. Uh, if you want to check out my social media, it'll be linked down below in the description. It's just my Instagram, my Twitter, my Discord. It will be all linked in the description down below. We do live streams on the channel, so I'm probably live right now If when you're watching this video, and you can go ahead and check that out. I'm usually live around 6 p.m. EST from Tuesday to Sunday. So if you see me right now, I'm live streaming. Join in. Watch the live stream. We're probably just chilling, doing whatever. But uh, anyway, guys, enjoy the rest of your day.